so I was thinking about this video and what I wanted to do with it because ski biking was such a cool experience but the videos I got were um so so I was like I could put them together put some music over it and just like make it part of a bigger video like I usually do but then I stumbled upon this girl's vlog and she is so good at storytelling and I was like dang that's actually something I really need to work on so that's kind of the other point of this video which is working on my storytelling so I was gonna film the story telling portion of this video in the car with like this nice background here one second you know like that but it is insanely windy out here um and freezing if i keep my door open so now we're just in my car because that's you know what's happening february 3rd woke up thinking it was going to be a normal day of riding at beaver creek with the normal crew you know the crew so we all decided to meet at beaver creek at 9 30 and to my surprise there was an extra ski bike that me and rachel were gonna be able to share and use for the day so i was super excited a little bit nervous uh we walked up to the gondola the guy gave us a little bit of instructions and stuff and then we all loaded our bikes onto the gondola now at this point i was reminded of when i went mountain biking in the summer which i don't think you guys ever saw those clips so i'm gonna insert them right here So that day ended with a broken wrist and a minor concussion in the hospital. So I really was not wanting that to happen again. I was a little bit nervous from that experience, but I was still, I was still just super excited for the day. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, it's a bike day. Uh, probably gonna fall quite a few times. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> So we got to the top of the gondola and then we had to load our bikes on the ski lift which honestly looked a lot more intimidating than it actually was you simply just had to pick up the bike set it on your lap and then ride like that then once you're getting off the lift you like set it to the side of you and kind of just run off the lift so it really wasn't too bad it just looked a little scary now actually riding the bikes was a little more difficult than i thought it was going to be I personally was the worst one out of the whole group. It was just like a weird feeling. Like it almost felt like riding a normal bike, but on like a thick layer of leaves. So it just slips everywhere you go, which I mean, makes sense. You're on snow. Nonetheless, I still had a freaking blast. By the time I got to the bottom, I was hooked and ready to get better. You scared? <laughs> yeah, I'm scared, but I'm excited. <laughs> okay, wait, I'm going up. Riley, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling awesome. This is so cool. Yeah? Yeah. I think I'm gonna buy a ski bike. Oh shoot, Marco, how was it for you? Huh? How'd you like it? Freaking dope. Big thumbs up, okay. So Ashley, how'd you like it? <laughs> it was so fun. <laughs> so fun? So Rachel, terrifying. are you scared? I'm ready to go. It was like go. terrifying, but so fun, and I, keep, I wanna keep doing it so I get better. <laughs> yeah, you'll get better. <laughs> So we took a few laps down the mountain on the bikes, probably six or seven or so. And then at that point we had to return the bikes. But once we got to the bottom, we picked up our boards again. I met up with a friend of mine and we took a few laps on our snowboards. All right, that is the end of my story time. I'm always looking for new creative ways to put videos together. And I feel like this one was kind of fun, kind of pushes me because I am still so uncomfortable talking in front of a camera. But yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye.